Come on. Thank you, Miss Girl. <laughs> Thank you for letting you, us know it's recording every time. Every single time. Recording anyway, in we are the Collective Three. And y'all know me as Michelle. Michelle, no M, the auntie. And as of right now, I am on my period. I need to eat a banana pudding ice cream and cranberry. Cheers to the girls' weekend. <laughs> Oh, many links just be popping up out of me, huh? I see. I was gonna ask, was it crack? But <laughs> I'm gonna let you slide. Oh, um, <laughs> y'all may or may not know me. I don't know. But anyway, I exist. And that's all you need to know for real. When somebody asks me who I really don't fool with, like, you know, who are you? I'm just gonna be like, I exist. Period. <laughs> like I don't I don't need to tell you who I am baby I used I to tell you. I used to tell people I was a conscience <laughs> I am your conscience girl go away <laughs> mm, this banana pudding ice cream is so good but I just hope I don't run to any bananas I hope that for you as well <laughs> that's all I can say I'm serious like my mama used to make it, right? Mm -hmm. I used to tell her, make me my own, but don't put no bananas in my banana pudding. And people, how do you eat bananas? Easy. If you leave the bananas in it, if you don't eat banana pudding within a day or two, the bananas go bad. And then it's like, I ain't gonna eat that. It's a banana And for the people good. who make banana pudding with them little chest piece cookies, I love y'all, honey. Y'all put me up on a new type of game. Mm. I don't like bananas pudding or uh, Nilla wafers, so I just don't enjoy that meal. <laughs> Not meal. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I don't enjoy Ooh, whatever it is, the dessert. Not meal. <laughs> okay, let me let me say this. So I saw a tweet, and it said, "Name a celebrity you hate so bad, like they haven't done anything personally to you or your loved ones, but it feels like they've done something." catastrophic towards your bloodline who would be that person that comes to your head oh mm. you go first honey kenya moore i knew i knew i felt like it was gonna be her <laughs> i was like mm. i already know what's up kenya um, moore is for me the worst type of person oh yeah she's terrible but she's gorgeous That baby she had is so beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> move, moving along. It's um, hard. Okay. Kenya is beautiful. Her actions make her so ugly to me. Like, she's like, hey, when I see her, I'm like, here come that monster. When I see you. Hey. When I. Now, who comes to your mind? Oh, there are so many. <laughs> there are multiples. There's Taylor Swift. Girl, what she do to you? Nothing, but I don't <laughs> like that bitch. <laughs> Something about her spirit just. Taylor, what's good? <laughs> now, who was that? Was it no, Molly? Molly, <laughs> very that. Nicki Minaj, you know you was out of line beefing with that white girl like that. Girl, anyway, <laughs> I would like to see the fight. Girl, Nicki Minaj wants to do shit, and neither was Miley. So I want to see. <laughs> Does anybody see Miley would pop out before Nikki. That's very likely because Miley got them, them mental issues, honey. <laughs> um, <laughs> like myself. There's Katy Perry. She worries me. What is she? And I'm not being funny. Like, what do you mean with it? Like, as In a, the celebrity world, like, have you heard her name? Has she came oh, across her? I thought you said, what is she? And I was like, I guess she's a human being. Even though she, she said she was she extraterrestrial. Exists. She exists. <laughs> she on American Idol. I think she's hosting um, that. Last thing I think I've seen with her, she had a baby with Orlando Bloom. Could not this know. Be, I could have made that up. It's likely you did. 
but I would never I know. Say, I want to say that Orlando Bloom and her were they assigned. And what happened to him? You know, he was on a good streak back in the day. He, he was a good little actor, but then they stopped making them pirate movies, honey. It was over with him for him. That was all he could do. He said, if I can't be on the water. <laughs> he, was, he was in other stuff too, though, wasn't he? I guess, honey. I don't know. That was okay. never my Orlando. Who was my, my Orlando before the you know the carryings on. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Go to the next person on who your list is. Yeah, it's hard to think of everyone because it, it's just it, it's everyone. I don't like nobody. Tamar. No, I like Tamar. I just like giving her a hard time more than I like not giving her a hard time. But you What's know what? Christian lady who ain't who don't act so Christian. Well, I need to buy them. Camberell. Camberell. It could have been any of them. Yeah, I don't I don't do Camberell um due to personal reasons. So that's not really fitting the prompt. Oh, okay. And she did offend me personally in my face multiple times multiple times. <laughs> I saw that clip on Twitter where that boy was going off on her on Sunday best, as he should have. And it's just, Crystal. I, mm-hmm. That was very rude of her. I so, went and added him on Facebook immediately after I saw that. And we've been friends ever since. And I'm glad he told her and Donnie about themselves. Why are y'all sitting up there laughing? Whether it was about him or not, it's up. he up there in front of y'all and y'all was, God, <laughs> yes it is, yes it is. She can't like, like girlfriends. Shut up, girl. <laughs> she was just sitting there like, oh, I, I'm not used to this. Somebody come out. Yolanda, that's what made it go. They was like, Yolanda was living for that read because she was she, like, was. she was. Let me tell you something about Yolanda, honey. Yolanda, okay, in my estimation, now this is completely in my mind. It's probably, I don't know if it's true or not, but Yolanda in my mind is a gay icon. She herself ain't gay. But she be riding for the gays in my mind. Okay. Cause she good good girlfriends with Donnie. She good good girlfriends with Kirk. They used to go on tour together. I went and saw them on tour when I was like four. Oh, Franklin. Who? Franklin. <laughs> I said what I said. Well, what you said was some bulls. <laughs> if we could sit here one day and just just randomly say all of the housewives, <laughs> it would just I would I would just eat y'all up. <laughs> you would, because all I would say is I'm so glad Juan's not here, girl. And I wouldn't even be talking about. I would strictly strictly be Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Probably mostly Nene. Nene. Nene was just, to me, so funny and was that girl. When she acted stupid, it was like you had to call her out, but Nene very much was that girl. She was. I saw they put up some clips of her on Glee, and I used to be the Glee helpful, honey. I, I watched it Glee <laughs> constantly. Um, it was it's almost embarrassing how much I enjoyed Glee. I enjoyed it. I watched it like after it was done, but I enjoyed it. I got and I was pregnant, just had Carter. I made it all the way up until uh they kind of wasn't in what was they at? Broadway? I went to college and was doing that. That's when I stopped too. I couldn't. I was like I can't uh, participate no more. Sometimes when shows try to grow the character, you know, in the show, it's like y'all just don't be getting it right because. Nine times out of ten, she wouldn't have went home to do what she was doing. She would not have. Not, not instantly, no. Mm-mm. It's yeah. just the whole thing, just for me, it started to feel like it was cursed before I realized it was cursed. And I was like, Mm-mm, something, something the spirit is telling me <laughs> that I got to stop watching Glee. That boy died. Corey he, Monteith died. What did he die from? What happened? Uh, the guy who played Corey Monte, the big white guy, the tall white guy, Finn. Not him. I know he overdosed. Yeah, he overdosed. But did the Mexican boy die, or he looks Mexican or something? Puck. Puck died because 
he killed himself because he was brought up on child pornography charges. Girl! Yes. See, and then now let's go off the topic. This is what I be saying. When, when it be child molesters and y'all got proof of that shit, can y'all quit letting these niggas know we can come get your ass because they always take the easy way out. Like, get the motherfucker be like, surprise, bitch. We got your ass. Look at all this shit right here. Get in this <laughs> and keep that nigga on 24 hour watch. But sister, how, <laughs> how do you, how you think they obtain the information? Somebody had to give it to them and told them something. I'm sure they found the IP on certain websites, but then but, they they had to go in. Quit announcing to these niggas, we finna come get you. No, you're not. Because <laughs> I'm finna go. <laughs> the thing is, they had to obtain his computers and things to verify the information. And when you so obtained his computers and things, you should have obtained his ass. When you go, what I'm saying is, when you go in there to obtain <laughs> Some shit and get some shit. Please get that motherfucker who y'all getting the shit from and just be like, nigga, I gotta hold your hand up until we get out of shit. <laughs> we both gonna be in this cell together because you no, know, you're not gonna get to kill yourself like that man did when he had kidnapped them girls and then that little white girl broke free. No, I'm being serious. When that little I white know. girl broke free. And she that man said, I knew something was wrong when little white girl just ran to me. I'm a black man. That right there, then they took that man to jail and then he killed himself. Why are these niggas not on 24 hour watch? And I mean 24 hour watch. Not, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom, then I do that. 24 hour watch. Oh no, let's make an announcement. Hey, my, my nigga, we, we need to come get this stuff to see if you are here looking at these children. Okay, y'all ain't gonna take me. No, quit announcing. When you go get this shit, please get them. Okay, I'm sorry. By all means, sister, because I agree with everything you just said. But like, <laughs> wow, you 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 went there, and I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud. I mean, you know, coming from a person who used to work in a prison, them motherfuckers who mess with kids, baby, they get away with too much for me. And and, and some of them motherfuckers would be proud of that. So no, like quit giving these ones outside the opportunity to unalive themselves. That to me, no. Go in, you gonna do that, go to jail. How you gonna go to jail though? You you going to prison. Shit. Do it up and now. But you can't because you're gonna be on 24 hour watch fuck with me. All right, warden. <laughs> And then Naya Rivera passed away in the, in the water. <laughs> now, I know she passed away in the water, honey. That's terrible. That and when her too. old little baby was at the water with her. I hate that. And then her baby daddy and sister got her too. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> I, you know, I have seen it happen where people <laughs> personally, the man I used to work with, his wife tragically died. Mm. And my lady, he was like, yeah, my girlfriend. I said, Mr. Your girlfriend? He was kind of elderly. He was like, well, she ain't my girlfriend, but she's my girlfriend. It's my wife's best friend. I said, oh. I said, your wife would be happy. He was like, well, I think she will. I said, ah, hell no. <laughs> you know, some people might be okay with it. For me personally, I'll be looking at your ass like this. If I die and you find your way into my partner's life, I'm going to haunt your ass. <laughs> Baby, I'm going to shake the bed. I'm going to grab your ankle, everything. everything. Every time you think somebody looking at you, somebody going to be looking at you, and I'm going to just go away because I'm a ghost. Like, <laughs> I'll be like this. <laughs> Exactly that. Except I'm not going to go away. I'm going to stand there. Don't let them be hunching. I'm going to be in the bed like this. Not in the bed. <laughs> in the when bed. When they open their eyes and you try to flip over, they roll over. I'm like, hey. I'm going to go away. 
Yeah, I like being gonna be high. <laughs> I'm gonna tell that asses up. You hear me, sister? Please, <laughs> please, <laughs> Beyonce, please <laughs> get that asses. I wish the hell y'all would. And like I said, I know some people do it, and some people are okay with it. But I don't think I'm that mature to be okay. With the fact that I'm dead and y'all niggas found comfort <laughs> in each other as lovers. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't okay. I'm finna kill y'all bitches. <laughs> we all finna be dead in this motherfucker. <laughs> Period. No, nah, but, but for real. Like, joking, but for real. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Especially not with my sister. Like, and it was immediate. It was like she died on Tuesday and come Thursday, they was living together. That make it look I like y'all know, killed them. If they still together. I don't know. I, 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 mm. <laughs> but what I do know is that I am praying to my Lord and Savior to protect Amber Riley because she really the only one left on that show that I don't want to be dead. I mean, the other ones can live too. I love that for them. But Amber Riley bit not die. Because you had that wheelchair boy. Then you had that Dixie boy. I mean, that Dixie girl. When you had that chill little girl. Didn't she get pregnant or something? Oh, yeah, she did. And she, she was pregnant and she was singing This is a Man's World by James Brown. And they was doing Lamar's What did she do with the baby? She gave it to Rachel Mama. To who? Rachel's Mama. You remember Idina uh, Menzel came on the show to play um, Rachel Berry's birth mother. And then Quinn, the character Quinn, who was pregnant, gave the mama the baby. Who was her baby daddy? The, uh, <laughs> the one you said was the Mexican looking man. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm so, so glad because she had tried to tell uh, Finn, the other deceased young man, uh, Corey Monty, she tried to tell him that it was his baby because they had kissed in a hot tub and he uh, ejaculated. And she tried to tell him that it had done swam over <laughs> into her uterus. I don't but, think now. I ain't no doctor. And I don't know much about algebra. And as a fucker, I know that's not how that works. <laughs> so, you know, that was a dumb little old storyline that they had put. She shouldn't even have said that. Go ahead. These people stupid. Why would you put that in the show? Because the youth were watching. And for some reason, that's what they wanted the youth to know. Um, but yeah, come to find they out. They also watching Teen Mom. And, and 16 and pregnant. So they know that that wasn't how it go. That's okay. True. I was watching The Secret Life of American Teenagers. I never watched that. It was cute. I yeah. was watching it because uh, I can't remember her name, but she on Grownish now. She the, the Latina lady. She was on there and I thought she was cute. So I said, I'm going to watch it. And then that was it. <laughs> I watched it for a little while. But anyway... <laughs> Amber Riley betting that die is all I'm saying here today. Did you watch that movie with her? You know I did. With her and Raven Goodwin, who I also enjoyed. Was it good? It was it was it. It was a movie. It was Lifetime. It was on Lifetime and it was a movie. It wasn't bad. It was just very Lifetime. And spoilers for those who haven't seen it, but I got to tell you this part. There comes a part where Amber Riley's character is masturbating in the closet while Raven Goodwin and her man have sex. And I just, I didn't want that for myself. I didn't want to see it. And I was sitting there with my grandma and my mama. And it was just very uncomfortable. It's like when I went to the movies and saw Moonlight and uh and them two. What what was it? Black and 
white I child. I still never have seen that either. It's good. It's, I don't know if you would like it because it's very conceptual. It's a lot of, it's a lot of silence and pictures. And you just, you kind of got to watch and understand. Oh, no, I can't watch that. I like to be on my phone. I, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how you would. You know, I when I'm watching something for real, yes, but I have to really want to watch it to put my phone down. Like uh, that show I've been watching on HBO, I keep going to sleep. It's good. and It ain't, it ain't boring. I just can't catch myself watching it late at night. Uh, talking about the girl before or something like that. It's on HBO. Huh? HBO is finally working on my TV. Congratulations. Yeah, I love that for me because I can start back watching Sex in the City again. Period. Anyway, in uh, the old one, not the new one. I'm not wasting my time with the new one to the people out there who did that Sex in the City. You kissed my ass. Anyway, um, it's this show called The Girl Before. So it's like telling us the story about the past girl and the current girl at the same time, they all have to live in this house. So like, that's a show I'm putting my phone down for because I want to watch it and I know I got to pay attention. But Moonlight, Moonlight gonna be something that I'm, it's gonna be one of them shows where I force myself to watch or movies I force myself to watch because I'm like, girl, you have cried and cried over Grey's Anatomy. Let it go. I watched I watched a new movie today as I was getting my hair done. What you watch, girl? Girl, some on Hulu, bitch, or, or stars. I don't know. One of the two, because she got that little fancy package up there. Girl, it was with that man with that lisp. And then that lady from um Living Single. That could literally be any two different the people. The man with the list was the man that played Antoine Fish, and then the living single lady was the dark skinned girl with the braids that she used to like the other dark skinned man, but then they act like they didn't like each other, but they did. But they was gay on the show. I don't know why they wouldn't just say that. But anyway, Maxine Her Shaw show was on uh, Erica Alexander and Derek Luke. Yes, him, him, Antoine Fisher and the Cosby show girl. Absolutely right. So boom. Come on, Pam from the Cosby show. Exactly. That's her name. <laughs> so I watched that movie with him. She is it's like, it ain't the purge, but it was the purge. Like they COVID hit. COVID had already hit. Uh they were back living normal. Um, they moved to this nice house out in the woods. They had one neighbor who was kind of crazy. But the world was going into panic. Stocks was going down. Like it was the purge without it being the purge. Then somebody breaking their house, honey. Then they go. It was stay that neighbor, there. wasn't it? And no, because <laughs> I should say that neighbor. Mm, I don't know. The neighbor was. He just had a bunker, and he had a pregnant girl down there living with him. Uh, he had a young boy. I think it was his real son, a fake son, living with him. It, it was just. Movies are not giving anymore. They're not. Ever, ever since Bird Box came out, I <laughs> movies. I don't, I don't watch Bird Box now. I, I was kind of interested. I watched it, but it was like, because mm. I was like, damn, you really got to walk around with iPhones and shit. I couldn't make it. <laughs> I just was tickled though when they let that man in his house. He was like, oh, your eye. I said, this is messy. <laughs> I said, now how y'all let him be fake normal all this time? And then he, I said, this is so messy. Girl, I thought that I'm was surprised crazy. you liked it because you hate your eyeball. Mm, but I walked up. <laughs> okay. I didn't watch the eyeball part. I was laughing, but I watched it. You better roll your neck, period. <laughs> <laughs> It's the braids, girl. I was going to say, this braids got you with an attitude. Oh, baby, these braids got me feeling very much like who's going to fuck with me? Me? Huh. You know who fucking with, with, with you. Ooh. <laughs> Send me a text, girl. <laughs> Because the way I was about to just holler. Because the way I'm confused. <laughs> Not you being confused. Yes. 
we just, we just, I love we just getting off topic and going to another topic, going to another topic. Period. We ain't got nothing to talk about. We just here. Yeah. It's nice cream and cramper. Only one of us is doing those things. No. <laughs> oh, girl, please. <clears throat> I was like, joking. I was joking. Okay, I know you was because <laughs> I'm not even. Anywho, did we want to hop on the Jasmine brand right quick or we just going to keep jumping from topic to topic? I don't know. I'm having fun jumping from topic to topic. You can go look on the Jasmine brand. I don't think anything's going on. I told you about Kalisa's husband and how he passed away from the council. That was so. That was news to me. Not that he passed away, which was also news, but that, that he was existed. Married. I was like, "Who? <laughs> Khalees got a husband." You know what? I've been finding out stuff all day. There's a rapper that I used to like named China C H Y N N A. Oh, see, I was trying to avoid that. Anyway, I just I found. Just it. I mean, listen. If you can't beat them, join. I just found out today that China died in 2020 and I was so so confused. I was like, when is she gonna come out with an album? Or the, you know, with a new piece? She's a rapper. She's a rapper. She's like, rapping up she? in the Lord now, ain't she? She's rapping for the Lord. I never heard of her. What song did she put out? I don't think there's any any songs that you would actually know. I don't know that she went mainstream. But I send you. I send you one of my favorites of hers. Not her being my last looked up artist child. Anywho, I found out today that she was dead, and I was very shocked. And and, and RuPaul. You was very shocked and who? And RuPaul. I thought that's what you said. That's what I said. Okay. And then I got into a rabbit hole, child, and I found out that Pop Smoke was only 20 years old when he passed away, and I yeah. thought that man was 30 some. He was only 20 years old. I really liked him. Uh, I liked I liked 50 Cent when he came out. And Pop Smoke really reminded me of him, but with his own flavor. And so I was rooting for that boy. Like when I found out about him, it was like almost too late. Yeah, and I was same. like, you know, like just when I found out, boom, and I was, I was really hurt because of him being twenty years old. I was hurt because I, was I, like, I just thought that was so selfish of the person. Like, and then what made it even worse was he had posted where he was at, like not saying I'm at this location, this location, but he just posted like a he took a picture in front of the house. They figured out where he was at, came in, did what they did. And Beat King made the tweet of, this is why rappers don't post what they do or go home to their hometown. And I was like, that's really sad because he was twenty. That's right. that's a baby. Literally. And the infant. And he, oh, he was just getting started. He That boy was, oh, he was very talented to me. He was. And if he wasn't 20, I'll be never. Mind. The way I agree. <laughs> I very much he agree. was just a very attractive young man. And it ain't even that. I just really felt bad because he was 20 years old. I couldn't imagine my life being over at 20 when I'm literally just starting. Child, if my life was over at 20, that probably would have been that would have been good for me. No. Like, if let's say Carter, or even if I did have a son become famous, I'm gonna tell them straight up never forget where you came from, you know, donate to where you came from, but don't never go back to where you came from because the most hate be in your own city. I would never want to have a famous child because if I have a child and they become famous, then I got to be the famous child's mama. And every famous person's mama, except for Beyonce's, looks a mess. Um, I, I will say something. But because... I would like to hear it. I will tell you. <laughs> I ain't even gonna do that. I ain't even gonna do that. I mean, because if you look at the, like, the R&B niggas, just R&B niggas alone, we don't have to look at it, everybody mama, but the R&B niggas 
when they bring their mama on the red carpet, honey. Girl, they be looking like they going through. And that's why I don't want to have R&B nigga child. Girl, they be looking like they are going through, like to hell and back. <laughs> be like, baby, are you okay? And then the, the Instagram or the tweet always says, this is my mother. She is 43 years old. I'm like, that's all? <laughs> Somebody like, Yeah, yeah. So I very much do not want to have a famous child because that's how I know that I, I've gone through the fire. <laughs> but who is this text about cellular device? No, child. Why are you calling me on the phone? Why are you not at home? Oh, hey. I just, I, hey. you know, Toni Braxton is one of my faves. And I just, every time I sing her music or think about her, I remember her sister did, and that just tears me up. You know what I was thinking about? Sisters and nine. If Twinkie go before anybody else in the Clark sisters, they gonna be told up. If anybody aside from Denise passes away, and no oh. shame to Denise, but I, they, don't, they don't fool her. But if anybody aside from Denise goes to glory, it's, it's gonna But be I it. think if they lose Twinkie first, like that is going to break them. Like if you think about it, Twinkie is really the backbone. She is. Like yes, Karen is Karen is the face. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Dorinda is the mouth. The other one, what's her name? Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> I was gonna call her somebody. Jackie. What are you, you saying? Like, like you somebody, yeah. grandma. Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. She like the security guard slash the second backbone. But Twinkie, no, like, no, Jackie. like I mean, like security is. Y'all can't fuck with my sisters. Cause I whoop your ass. You bet not fuck and with my juice. That's on the Lord and them. You know. <laughs> that's on Apostle Paul. Yeah. <laughs> like she very much, she ain't gonna cuss or nothing, but she gonna very much let you know. Not like my sisters. She you know, hip, she and, the hip bone. Twinkie is just she the glue. And when the glue go, the family go. But if they, oh girl, what if the news? pass away and don't nobody go to that lady's funeral. What, what? If, what if you do go to her funeral and then her, her kids be like, hell no. Y'all didn't let my mom. Hell no. What? I don't want to holler at no motherfucking trick daddy. He all over there smelling like bulk and Hennessy. Hell no. <laughs> Girl, that's, that's going to be a hot ass mess. Oh I lord. Just- I'm sorry to do this, but when you said this, this last time when you said if if the glue falls apart, the whole family falls apart. Why did I imagine Twinkie Clock as Big Mama? Big Mama, you're all awesome. <laughs> Big Mama, you're all awesome. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Because, because Twinkie is very much the help for the hands out of money in the teepee. Oh, baby, she got in the old Cadillac somewhere. <laughs> yeah, when when Twinkie go to honey, we're gonna find out the fake 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 fuck my husband. Maybe when Twinkie go, I'm gonna show out. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a hot ass mess. And that funeral gonna be like Aretha Franklin's. Everybody gonna be up in there. Yeah, everybody gonna be up in her. And I mean everybody. And the Jennifer, ghost gonna be up in there. Jennifer Hudson gonna sing. She gonna be right there singing. I don't know if Kiki gonna be able to sing. I know you don't care. But Jennifer. Ooh, the alto. Kiki, the alto. She's aware that she's an alto. She says she says yes me she says that she's an alto no she don't because her voice very much strains and she believes she's a soprano like her mother and she's not but she literally said i gotta find that interview when she was working on the movie the clark sisters movie she said 
I am an alto. I don't sing as high as my mom. And I'm glad that she said that. But this is what I want her and her mama to realize. She cannot go up that high, so please stop forcing her to. I don't think her mama making her do nothing. She 30. That's a lie. She be on the stage talking about do it. Do it. <laughs> and she be like, I can't do it. Do it. Mama. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. And that's a real clip. Because <laughs> why is that my mama? I'm so weak because that's my mama. I don't care about it, mama in church. Mama, get up there and recite. I, I don't know. Yes, you do. You know that. Get up there. The I Lord you. said, oh, I hate this church like they love boy. <laughs> Like, stop forcing that girl to go in a range that she cannot comfortably do. My mother, when I was a child, I was probably like four. And I'd be singing along with Radio Disney and my mom would be, she would turn the radio off and say, hit that note again. Ah. Do, do it again. <laughs> like, mama, oh, she did. It. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. And then my grandma would pop up. And be like, okay, so this is my part. I'm singing. I'm singing tenor. Your mom's gonna sing alto. You sing soprano. One, two, three, go. I'd be like, girl, I'm, I'm full. What I'm supposed to do? What am I supposed to do here, baby? They had me in singing boot camp. That's like that uh, episode. Not that episode. That scene. And what is the Step Brothers and the family was in the car, and he was like, and I can sing high like this. He was like, girl, no, it's not. Yeah, I used to watch Step Brothers down. Yeah, that was my life though. <laughs> that whole that whole car scene was my life. <laughs> they was like, do it like this. And you got the kids in the background, the mama singing, and he's singing. It was just a hot ass mess. Mm -hmm. And then when they made that, we got so much room to do activities, <laughs> made them fake ass buck beds. Does this mean we're best friends? That movie, that movie and Pineapple Express. I've never seen Pineapple Express. And Superbad. I've never seen Superbad. Were the movies that I used to watch back in the day when I was up there, you know, I was up there. Those was the movies to watch. Where were you, honey? You know what I'm saying that I can't say, you know. But anyway, uh, back in the day, Back in the day. <laughs> back in the uh, day when things was cool. Uh-uh. Hit that note again. Back in the... And that's how I would be. Back in the... And she'd be like, breathe. Take a deeper breath. You know, you're singing out your, your, at your chest. And you need, I mean, you're singing out your head and you need to be singing out your chest. Breathe. Oh, my God. My choir teacher used to say, you singing at your head. Huh? Ain't that where it's supposed to come? No. Huh? For the longest, I never understood. And then would give me solos and would piss <laughs> me off because you are constantly telling me that I am not singing the way you want me to sing, but you keep giving me these solos. And then here it is on these UIL competitions. I keep I keep progressing, but I'm confused. You progressing. And uh, this, my, let me tell you about my choir teacher. She had me sing. This was high school. I will never forget. She had me sing A Motherless Child. Oh, yes. A long way. And it was in the deepest alto to voice I had. Oh, and yes. I was nervous. You know, I don't really have a confident singing voice. So I wasn't really confident in it. I messed up the words. Mm. Do you know I still got a one? I was like, what? now hold on, because you are constantly telling me. She was like, you're doing good. But I didn't feel like I was doing good. I've been there. <laughs> I used to just get so upset because I would be next to, this was the, the right next to me was always the tenors. I was always right next to the guys. And I'm like, so you telling me I sound like a milk? 
When did they tell Tony Braxton and Jasmine Sullivan when they first started singing? What they had told them, I don't know. They had told them, you sound like a nigga. I just, I don't like my singing voice. I feel like it's... It's a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you for lying. Why would I lie to you? Excuse me, waving back. Oh! Look at the face. She's having a vision. When I see you, I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, that's so lovely. I mean, beat your ass. Hold on. I'm taking off my shoes. Oh, girl, you, you got me on your own, baby. I call the, the jails, the police on people. And I'm going to beat the jails ass, too. Oh, I'm going to beat your ass. Hey! Oh, my. <laughs> hey! So you think? So I know. As a man thinketh, so is he, is what the Bible says. Oh, girl, please. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the Lord. Do not be mad at motherfucking me. Don't be mad at me. Do not be mad at motherfucking me. So anyway, what was we talking about? (laughs) Girl, we have talked about any and everything and just yeah. completely gone off topic to topic to topic. So, truly, not this. Are we done? <laughs> I was just saying, like, <laughs> we did something. <laughs> not this congratulatory, this self congratulatory action. I love that for you. <laughs> you look just like Carter. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Not you being mad, you look like your child. Carter look like me. No, you look like Carter. See, this is why I hate when you have a child because you no longer exist. You don't. <laughs> Girl. That's why my mama be texting me, how's my grandbaby? <laughs> how's me? How, how are the grown people? <laughs> one of her stressed out <laughs> like girl anywho um yeah i guess that's it then unless you get this has been the episode honey i don't think i have anything else to ramble on about uh uh-uh. I, I got my hair done um a brand new i'm a brand new girl I don't. That's why I got this <laughs> sponge bab, little hooded, hoodie, pajama moment. Anyway, child, this has been the collective three. Hit that note again. Three. Hey! Hey! Was, it was better the second time. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we went <to> church. <laughs> Yeah, you was like, give your testimony. <laughs> My God. I'm hanging up this, this, this video, honey. I'm hanging it up. 